I'm here with Ben Greenell after Margate's 3 0 loss to Carl Shorten. Ben, a tough day at the office, perhaps a, an unfair scoreline on us. Your thoughts on the game? I think unfair after the first 30 minutes, maybe the first half. I think we went in reasonably positive. It was a possibility. Steve's goal from, from my set piece was, was onside. So look, we're, we're clutching at straws to say it could have been a positive first half coming in at 1 1. Would have taken a point away from home, but um, we were off it. We, were, we looked like we were losing runners. Um, we looked lethargic, and at the end of the day, when, when your men are being in a dogfight, you need people to step up as much as you can. Um, all ends of the pitch, this isn't saying defensively we're leaking goals, because if you actually look back at our goals, they come from areas that we should be able to stop chances. Um, so it's just it's disappointing, um, it's flat, it was very flat second half, and it's not something that, as players, we, we can accept. Well, look, we did create chances in the game. Obviously, yourself on the set pieces today created a number of good chances. It's just frustrating we weren't able to put them in the back of the net and perhaps gain some momentum from them. Yeah, I think that we can we can say anything. Um, if if that goal goes in at half time, you're going at one one. Yeah, I'm sure things could have been different. We might have gone and kicked on. We said at half time, if we go out and nick a goal, then it could go the other way, and it could mm. be us, and we could be pushing for three points rather than one point. But it went the other way. We we come out. We said what we needed to do, and and we let them have time, we let them have space, and we let them have really easy goals. And in this position, I've, I've never been, I've, I've never been relegated. And at the moment, it's absolutely like hurting. And I'm not coming for players because we need to stick together. But my worry is, is it, is it hurting for everyone on that pitch? Is it hurting at that time on the pitch? I'm, I'm in a change room. You can see everyone's down. But are we showing enough desire, enough on the pitch? And, and look, don't get me wrong. Blackie's a big miss in there. Um, still dubious, obviously, with, with the red card, whether it was and wasn't, and they, they played it well, and, that, and that's affected us. But we we can't rely on certain players to give us desire. Um, and that's that's where it's in the, at this stage. Of, I've been part of relegation fights. I've got out of them. But at the moment, with what's going on, with, with what we're showing, it's, it's going to be a massive uphill task. Well, I think conceding first is one of our big issues at the moment. We tend to do it in games, and it's always harder to obviously come back from that goal. Um, do you see a way of being able to correct that? Is it maybe just a, an issue of confidence, not stepping on the right foot from the, the get-go? There's always a way. Uh, there's always a way. If you, if you look at the players we've actually got on the pitch, mm. it should be, on paper, a good team. Um, I don't think, like I said, I don't think the work rate, I don't think the togetherness is there, and I don't think we're looking after each other or, or doing enough individually, all, all of us around the pitch. And like you said, we've got eight games to go now. If you went and if we went and win four or five games, which shouldn't be too much of a hard task, especially in the position we're in, then we can get out of it. Um, the question is how we're going to do that as as a team. How how are we going to rock up on a Saturday or rock up at Tuesday Tuesday night at Chesham? And how are we going to do that? And it has to come from us. We've got to do a little bit more. Um, and like I said, I don't want to question how much it hurts people, but. I'm, I'm dreading having a relegation on my CV. I'm, I'm completely dreading it, and especially for a club like Margate, where we've tried to give absolutely everything to for the last three years, but it's it's not good enough. And, and I think players have come in and, and they've had to deal with what we're in, and at the moment, probably not showing enough. But I think a lot of people looking at Margate at the moment, they might feel a little bit a bit down about the situation, but there, there is certainly a belief in this squad that we can turn things around. Like you say, you know, win a couple of games. You know, you get the confidence back, and like you say, it's, it's a good team on paper. We create chances. It's fine margins at times. There certainly is a belief in this squad that we can turn things around. F football's all about momentum, and uh, like, that sums our season up. Like we've we've got used to losing, and there is a, a momentum with us losing at the moment. If we can spin that around and we go and nick a result, which obviously we, we perform well against Gambia Island, um, managed to beat them three-two, would have hoped that we could have kicked on with that momentum. Mm. Um, and we've got to gain something. Something's got to happen. Um, something's we've got to do something on the pitch to be able to kick on. And and like I said, we, we've we've got to get that belief. Um, we're training twice this week. We've got we've got to put the effort in in training and gain something to go, get towards Saturday and go. Here's our first three points and and sneak back back out of it. But we've we've really got to love it. And I think I hope it's real to everyone because I've been feeling it for since Christmas. I've been feeling that we're we're in a bit of a dogfight and. I think everybody's got to realise that and realise what you've got to do to get out of a dogfight. 
Cheers, man. Thanks very much. No worries. Cheers.